Vaccination. So um, they should, all cats should receive modified live vaccine on intake. Even if they're mildly sick or injured, you're having to balance um, the risk to the animal from vaccination with the risk from infection. And in a shelter, uh, you really do need to err on the side of vaccination. And as I was saying earlier, you start at four weeks and you vaccinate every two weeks until the age of 16 weeks. Adult cats, you do two doses, two weeks apart. Again, you're vaccinating immediately on intake. That uh, modified live vaccine takes about 72 hours to protect uh, and that's been shown in challenge studies. Yes, question? So the question is, what do we do if kittens are adopted or go into foster at eight weeks? Should we continue the same vaccination schedule? Well, if they're adopted, then it becomes the responsibility of the adopter to continue that vaccination. If, you know, I, th I don't think there'd be... Yeah, I, okay. And if they're, if they're in a foster home, then it it's still your responsibility to keep that kitten vaccinated. And while it's in a lower risk group, because it's in a foster home, than it would be if you're um, keeping that kitten at a shelter, it's still a good idea to get the foster caregivers to come in when the kitten is due for that vaccination every two weeks. Um, as I said earlier, uh, vaccination is unlikely to be helpful once clinical signs commence and it, you shouldn't be giving it to uh, a modified live vaccine shouldn't be given to kittens that are under four weeks of age because there can be these cerebellar signs that naughty um, kitten syndrome that I was talking to you about earlier or to pregnant queens and there's got to be a risk assessment here I think, you know, really that goes along with the idea of spay neuter. I think there'd be a lot of uh, shelters that generally, if it's female, it gets spayed. And uh, we, we don't want to um, produce more kittens, if at all possible. So a lot of shelters will spay pregnant queens anyway, so it, it doesn't become a problem. The reason that you don't vaccinate pregnant queens is because of the risk to the um, neonatal kittens, but if you're going to spay the, uh, the queen anyway, then it's a good idea to just vaccinate her so she's protected.